Good day, and welcome to your lecture. This is how Brian Martin starts his online classes. I know, because I took his digital design classes. Today I want to talk about Professor Brian Martin. Brian Martin has been teaching digital design classes for 20 years. Digital design program won't be the same next year. Martin teaches the animation class this spring. This is his favorite class. As long as we get to blow stuff up, that's okay. It's like... Brian Martin is a very popular professor among his co-workers, and they have a lot of stories how they met. We met was with my first six months, and we talked a lot about our TV times. He used to work at Channel 11, and I used to work at Channel 13. He was my teacher, and my great teachers, of course, at that time. I was able invited back to be a teacher here, so that's how I've known Brian all these years. Um, I met Brian, um, I think it was 96. We had created the digital design um, curriculum and were hiring a full-time faculty member. So uh, both Brian and I um, got our 20 years service, uh, you know, 20 years of service just this year. So we've both been here for 20 years. We're hired at the same time. And I knew him a little bit at the beginning. But about 10 or 12 years ago, we both moved into uh, this hallway. So we've been sharing a hallway uh, for a long time. Long time, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what professors think about Brian Martin retirement. There will be no replacing Brian. We're all very sad because you can't think of the digital design program right now without thinking of Brian Martin. He has, he's more than the glue that holds it all together. He is the together. Uh, the college is losing a, a, a really key professor. Uh, he's going to leave some pre pretty big shoes to fill. I don't think the, ever, the college could ever be ready for Brian's retirement because he is so gifted, he is so student-centered, and he, um, he helps develop skill sets in students that very few people could help students in the way that he does. I spent much of last year trying to convince him not to retire tell him that he didn't have enough money for retirement, that he, you know, he wasn't ready and that he would miss it. Because um, I knew I would miss it and Leslie and Susie and I are going to miss him dearly. I, um, uh, we're grieving. If you think that you're done after you finished uh, college, man, you're just going to sink. I've never met somebody who so consistently is engaged in getting to know new students and in continuing to change and update his material and uh, he's, I, you don't find a lot of people with that kind of energy and um, so we have our fingers crossed but I definitely uh, he will be missed his spirit his energy and the way he runs that program as, as you know is just amazing. Brian Martin used his humor in his teaching which helps students be focused. I love the most how he applies a sense of humor and he has taught me to do that more Every single moment with Brian is hilarious. Um, Brian cannot help but interject humor into every aspect of the conversation. Whether he's teaching or talking to you or even having a serious discussion, it's still pretty funny. Um, he makes me laugh. I remember that every time he walked into the room, um, there was laughter. And working across the hall from him for years was just, um, just a wonderful time. I had so many good times laughing and joking about everyday stuff, yelling across the hall. Here is what students felt about taking Brian's class. It's really fun. He's uh, very enthusiastic and I really enjoy that because sometimes I have a hard time um, engaging in class and he makes it a lot easier because he's so enthusiastic and fun. Mm -hmm. so. Brian is awesome. He's, uh, he's a lot of fun. He's really knowledgeable and experienced, so he shares a lot. And he just seems to have a really positive take on most things, even when he's complaining about something. You know, he makes us all laugh and makes really complicated subjects easy to understand. Mm -hmm. And he's really patient with us. <laughs> like, he always like asks questions like, do you need any help every single time class ends? So, which is really great. Um, he's very intuitive to his students. Like, like uh, he always makes sure like we get all what we need. And uh, yeah, very good teacher. Things students and faculty wishes for him is 
I hope he gets some enjoyment and fulfillment in the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hope Brian Martin has a lot of fun in retirement. I, I wish him eternal health and happiness for him to have many years to enjoy his retirement and to do the things that he loves, to have more time for his music and for all the things that he enjoys. Um, that's what I wish for him. I wish for you um, that you continue to follow your passion and I know you will because that is the motivator for what you do. Part of your passion is your creativity and your, um, another part of your passion is how you touch lives. And so I know you're gonna continue to do those things. It just is gonna look different. Brian, I wish you a lot of happiness in your retirement. I hope you have a lot of laughter and a lot of creative moments. Um, I know we'll stay in touch, but wishing you a lot of happiness. To continue having fun in life and... Oh, I wish he could stay. He's awesome. Man. Uh, he, he deserves a break, so... I just hope that he gets to spend more time just doing things he loves. I know that he loves doing design stuff, but I know that he also likes music, so I hope that he gets to spend time doing that. Reporter at Ports Telecom for Pioneer News, Marina Chitverko. Uh, have fun on your project. Well, I used to play the big leagues I keep up every day. Now I can't get off the on-ramp and it's hard to see which way. Well, research prep and distill is hard to see a full-time job in itself. And I can, I can hardly keep that bottle full right up there on the shelf.